Hey guys, this week I'm going to show you how to make a wooden kitchen utensil. Stick around. Hello and welcome to this week's edition of BS with AJ. As I said before, this week we're going to be making a wooden kitchen utensil. We recently bought this pretty large pot that we've been cooking a lot in. And we've been using these wooden utensils we've had for a while and they're not quite big enough. As you can see here, the top of it stops right at the very top of this pan. So if you get this thing too full, you end up getting your hands in the food and burning your fingers and stuff. So we're going to go ahead and make a kitchen utensil that's made for the size of this pot. Let's get started. Alright guys, so for this project we're going to be using a piece of rough sawn cherry wood. It's one inch thick by eight inches wide. So we're going to have to cut it down to size, and then we'll have to rip it down to the width we need. And then we're going to actually have to resaw it to uh, half the width of this for our piece. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, the first step is to go ahead and take our board and we're going to cut it down to 21 inches. Our final piece is going to be 20 inches. So we're going to make it just a little bit longer to make sure we have plenty of room. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and rip this board down to five and a half inches because our ending pattern is five inches wide. That way we have just a little bit of clearance on each side. Alright, so we went ahead and resawed our piece down to a half inch thickness. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and cover it in painter's tape and then we're going to glue on our template and we'll let it dry on there and we'll come back and cut it out in a minute. Alright, now that our pattern has had plenty of time to dry, we're going to go ahead and cut it out using our bandsaw.
right, now that we have it sanded all smooth, what we're going to do now is go ahead and seal it with a mixture of beeswax and mineral oil. And as you can see, compared to the pot, it's quite a bit bigger than our original uh, kitchen utensil, stir stick, whatever you really want to call that. And it's, it's actually big enough you can get both hands on it if it's too thick or something. So I really thought this was a neat project, and I really like doing the shape of an oar. I thought it was kind of neat for it being a giant pan. So whatever. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and consider supporting BS with AJ on Patreon so we can do bigger and better projects for you guys. I'll see you next week.